All right, so in this video, I'm gonna walk you through how we were able to close a cold lead to a new client in under seven days. And I'm not some master sales guy. I don't think we're anything super unique, but we do two things that I'm gonna walk you through at the end of this video that is able to get us new clients through cold emails very effectively. So, you know, my name's Nick Abraham. I run a lead gen agency called Leadbird. We have over 120 active clients as of today, I believe. And we basically eat our own dog food. So like what we're doing for our clients, we do for ourselves to get new clients. And, you know, I always hear from so many people, they always say cold email is broken. You can't get clients from cold email. And it's just false. And the reason why it's false is because of the two things I'm going to walk you through at the end of this video. But let's get into this. Let me show you the, literally the conversations we have with these leads to be able to convert them into a closed client. So as you can see, we sent this first email on February 27th, which is about last Tuesday. Uh, which is roughly eight days ago, but we closed this client yesterday, so seven days. But first contact, we just sent a simple email, nothing unique. This is the email that we've been using for over a year and a half. It's, hey, first name, we've been working with firms like, so social proof to help them, tell them what we do on a paper lead model. If we could help you do the exact same thing, would that be something you want to hear more about? That's it. And then we have quick lines. And the quick lines line here isn't even anything fantastic. It's just mentioning the MBA degree from the school that they went to. Nothing crazy. Then we get a response. He says, hey, I'm running a very lean budget. How much per lead? What is your definition of lead? How many other clients will also receive a particular lead? Our inbox management team gets back to them the exact same day, or actually the next day, the next following morning, and gets back and answers all of his objections and then shows them an insane amount of social proof, right? So here's our definition. We do not take on similar companies. Our cost per lead is not fixed. Here's a video of what makes us superior to other agencies. Here are over 20 successful interviews with our customers. And then they were looking to push them for a demo. And then the lead comes back and basically gives us more objections, which our inbox manager once again takes again to do more objection handling, right? So yes, most of our clientele are B2B companies selling services and demos. You know, if that's your target market, we can help you. But case studies are developing with the people that are similar to him. And I'm kind of leaving all this out because this is a market segment that we found that we're absolutely crushing it in. And then, you know, basically pushing them for a demo. And then basically the lead replies saying, hey, okay, awesome. I'm happy to hop on a call. How is Tuesday, March 5th at 9 or 9.30 Pacific? So for us, we deliver meeting ready leads. So once a lead is showing interest and you can see that there's interest here and is wanting to hop on an actual demo, we submit it to the sales team in the exact same way we submit it to our clients. They basically get an email like this. So this got delivered to our sales rep, Blake, new account executive that joined Leapbird uh, maybe three months ago and is absolutely crushing it. And he basically gets an email like this with all the leads details and the conversation we've had till then. And then all he has to do is click to reply and continue the conversation. So this is Blake's response to confirm the demo. So he simply says, hey, Michael, thanks for getting back to Mia. I support all the initial conversations. I've shared an invite for the date that he proposed, looking forward to speak then. And I've also linked a brief video of how we've been able to support 100 plus clients. And here's some testimonials that we have linked on our website. So once again, showing social proof. And then Blake has the demo on the 5th and one call closed them. This is a Stripe screenshot. You can see that we actually got paid on the 5th, which is yesterday. And this is my CRO congratulating Blake for being able to hop on a call and do a one call close, which is his first ever. So now the question is, how are we able to do that and why you guys can't do that? You are not solving a problem that is actually meaningful to the market that you're trying to get into. And this is simply what it is. You just don't have product market fit. For us, we are solving a meaningful problem. People need leads. It's the lifeline of their company. If they do not have leads, their company will go under unless they have amazing retention. And so we have a product that actually solves a massive pain point in the markets that we sell to, which is B2B companies. And then second, we have insane amounts of social proof. If you go to our website, 20 plus video testimonials, over 40 case studies. If you go to our G2, I think we have like a 4.8 or a 4.9 out of five stars. If you go type in Nick Abraham or type in Leadbird, you'll just see a ton of content on our YouTube, on our LinkedIn, everywhere, right? And so Whenever you get a cold prospect like we have, and he's just simply looking us up online, he sees all this proof. He knows that this has worked for other people's, and then we're giving him an amazing offer, which is pay per lead legion. Why would he not sign up, right? Why would he say no? He believes us, he trusts us, and we give him an actual solution to solve the pain point that he wants. 
So if you're running cold emails and you are getting literally crickets, right? As long as you're doing all the fundamentals to make sure that you're actually landing the inbox, but you're still getting crickets. You're just getting people that are saying, I'm not interested or take me off your list. That simply means for the most part, either you're selling to an oversaturated market or you're solving something that literally does not, is not a huge pain point for the, the customers that you're going into, right? Those are the two reasons why your cold email do not work. So you need to understand what is the pain point, the big pain point, the thing that is literally stopping their business from growing. What is that singular thing and how can I solve for it? Regardless of what your service is, you need to build a product that actually solves a massive pain point. And this is what is called product market fit. And then after you have that, you need to go reach out to clients. You need to go solve this problem. Then you need to go get this recorded on a video of them saying, hey, this is how you guys solved it and this is how much it helped us. And now you have social proof. And now all you need to do is reach out to that same target market with the solution, with the social proof, and do exactly what we did here. Run cold emails, hop on a call, follow up, close the call. It's simple. It's that simple. It's not complex. But the reason why you don't see results is simply because you're selling something that people genuinely do not want. So what's the solution? Sell something that people need. It's that simple. And, and it blows my mind whenever we have clients that just don't understand that. Like you have to sell something that is meaningful to the person. They're not going to just buy something because they're hopping on a call with you. It's, it's ridiculous. Solve a meaningful pain point. Have social proof. It's that simple. Don't overcomplicate it. That's the only two things that you need to learn and need to do to get these kind of results. It's that simple.